Hello and welcome, my name is John Dickinson for Boris FX, here to give you a tour of the brand new Mocha Splines feature in UltraZap for Sapphire 2022. Previous versions of UltraZap allowed the importing of a native After Effects path for creating new electric effects and animated looks. With Sapphire 2022, UltraZap goes beyond After Effects masks. Now users can take advantage of Sapphire's built-in Mocha tools for planar tracking and spline-based Roto to drive UltraZap animations. You can create track splines inside Sapphire's Mocha interface or even import projects that were created in Mocha Pro or Mocha AE, allowing all supported hosts access to the many advanced features of UltraZap. UltraZap, like many other Sapphire effects, has always been able to track positional parameters with Mocha. And now with planar tracking and linking, you can enhance shots with UltraZap in ways previously only possible in After Effects. We start by applying the UltraZap effect, choosing the UltraZap Mocha mode, and launching the Mocha interface. Then creating a search area with a spline, and tracking the area to which we want to apply UltraZap. Once the track is complete, we create the spline that we want UltraZap to use and link that spline to the track layer. Then hide the track layer and UltraZap will only appear on the splines that are visible in the Mocha interface. And you don't have to track an object to take advantage of Mocha splines, which can be used to enhance still images like texts and logos. The magnetic spline tool in Mocha makes it easy to draw a spline around our object. Then quickly fine tune by deleting any extra points and choose a preset to quickly give our image an electrifying makeover. UltraZap shapes don't have to be closed paths either, allowing you to create this kind of look where the UltraZap bolt follows the rope. In Mocha we create a spline following the object and right click on a spline point and select open spline. Then adjust the path to follow the target, automatically setting new keyframes. Choose a preset and customize the look. Adobe users can now access Mocha 4 UltraZap directly in Premiere Pro, allowing you to jump in quickly and enhance shots directly without needing to use After Effects. And of course, for more complex projects, Adobe After Effects users can also take advantage of this new feature. Mocha Sapphire in all supported hosts can import files created in Mocha Pro and Mocha AE. Simply export the project from Mocha Pro or Mocha AE, open that project in Mocha Sapphire, and hide all the Mocha layers except for those UltraZap will use. Then finish compositing the look using other sapphire effects such as rays and bokeh lights. So whether you want to enhance a simple logo or create a complex VFX shot, the combination of Mocha splines with UltraZap opens up a world of creative possibilities. So thanks for watching. To learn more about sapphire and to download a demo, visit borisfx.com.